Have you ever heard somebody say, don't put all your eggs in one basket? Well, clearly they have never made bourbon. Iowa's newest distillery has opened up just south of the metro, and the couple behind this new concept is all in when it comes to producing quality bourbon here in the state of Iowa. We're still in the final phases of construction, so when I bring, we don't do uh, official tours yet. I do some behind the scenes tours. Today, Local 5 is getting a sneak peek behind the curtain of Rob Taylor's empire. It's almost a field of dreams. If you build it, people will come. And uh, where we're located in Osceola, we're directly off of I-35, directly across from Lakeside Casino and less than 30 minutes from West Des Moines. A distillery with as much science and engineering involved as you'll find in the Midwest, from an auger system to transport grain and distills to the centerpiece of the operation. We actually uh, affectionately name her Lucy because she's a redhead, all the coppers at the top of her. Um, but she's 33 foot tall, uh, 21 plates in her, uh, capable of making a barrel of whiskey an hour. The story of this former state lawmaker turned distiller goes back about 11 years while visiting Bardstown, Kentucky for an annual bourbon festival. That's when the man behind Wild Turkey Bourbon put an idea into Taylor's head with a simple question. You know where we get all of our corn uh, down in Kentucky for Wild Turkey? And I said, no. And he said, a little company in Iowa called Camp Feeds is where they get the vast majority of their corn um, for wild turkey. And he said, why don't you start a distillery in Iowa? He says, I just don't understand. Over a decade of planning, learning, and millions of dollars invested into the operation, Revelton is churning out its first barrels of bourbon produced with Iowa corn grown in Clark County. This is 40 percent alcohol. But don't line up for your first taste yet. By federal law, they have to be at least two years and a day before I can call them bourbon, so I can guarantee you it's going to be at least that long. But uh, those barrels won't be released until I, as the primary distiller, say it's time to rele be released. But we expect, based upon um, our flavor profile and in our climate schedule here over the next two or three years, we think we'll have our first release in bourbon in uh, between 30 and 36 months. In the meantime, they've got plenty of other products that don't take years of patience and a completely remodeled facility to try them. I mean, we've really only been open 17 weeks now and we've got six products uh, that are, are really moving um, off grocery store shelves right now. We're already established in several restaurants in the Des Moines metro area as well as down here. And the opportunity to literally tap into millions of people who drive by every year has the Taylors patiently optimistic about the future. I've had a lot of different jobs in my life, everything from a farmer to a mechanic to a legislator. Um, and for the, at least the next 10 years, I hope to be the primary distiller here and owner of Revelton Distilling Company. But uh, we intend on um, going big or going home. <laughs> Revelton family friendly, by the way, they offer root beer floats, which they brew the root beer right there if you prefer a non-alcoholic beverage for the kids. Rob says Iowa's climate, this is what's interesting, is ideal with the swings in temperature. It ages the bourbon from the heat to the cool in a perfect way. And they also offer, because he's a beekeeper, I didn't yes, know this. Yes, he is, all that honey. He has a honey-themed vodka, which is very unique. Uh, I may have taken a bottle home, purchased one, and uh, had, had some with the neighbors the other night. I've been to his beehives you have. before. Yes, so. It's quite the story, though. He, he's a wonderful man. His wife is wonderful, a wonderful family. So congratulations to uh, the Taylors, and I think I'm going to have to try some bourbon. Yes, I will have all of the times that they are open for the public to come in, uh, and then they'll be doing tours at some point. It's a fascinating endeavor that they've done here from what I've seen. Short break, everyone will be right back.